Hi everyone, so time for the next video. Um, just to let you know, this is part of a video series. Uh, this is the second video. Um, I will put a link to the first video in the top right hand corner. That will cover the initial deployment of 40 Manager Cloud. Um, this video is going to cover uh, adding multiple devices into 40 Manager Cloud. But before we start off the video, um, it's the fifth. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers um, by the end of the month. So if you're not already subscribed, if you could please do that, I think, I, I believe I'm about 80 away. Uh, that would be massively appreciated. Okay, so there's many methods of adding a 40 gate to 40 manager. Um, I'll try and cover as many as I possibly can um, in this series. So just to be clear, um, I've just deployed a new instance in UK South in Azure. The version, as we said in the first video, is 7.2.6. And um, as you can see, it's not added to um, a cloud account currently. Okay, so I believe that I need to register the 40 gate. So let me do that activate. Jump into there. Product list. Yeah, we'll just register it here. So serial number. Just do it. Let's stick the serial number in there. Yeah, okay. Okay, so apparently I need to obtain the VM ID. <clears throat> so if I go to the command line of the gate and run this command here, um, <clears throat> you get the output and then on memory, um towards the bottom here it is vmid um this is the number that you need to copy so i'll copy that logged into my asset management put the vmid in there yeah so that's registration's been completed now okay so just something to watch out for when you um, add the 40 gate appliance into Fortinet support or 40 cloud, um, it can take a couple of hours for the device to obtain knowledge that it has been registered correctly. Um, in my case, what I actually did is I just rebooted the 40 gate appliance. Um, and we can now proceed with adding the appliance to 40 Manager Cloud. Just before we do that, I just want to create some, um, I don't want to add it with absolutely no configuration on it at all. So I'm just gonna add um, a couple of dummy accounts. So, oh yeah, um, <clears throat> in Azure, um, port two is always your internal uh, interface and port one is your external interface. So port one, two, internet, um, all that, yeah. And I'm just going to create a couple more, just just purely to demonstrate. Um, the ability of adding the appliances into 40 manager, what it will do. So I'll just put please sub to my channel. And please hit that like button. And that should be sufficient, right? Um, obviously you wouldn't have, um, obviously this policy would get matched first, but we don't need to go into that. So now to add the 40 manager, we go to security, fabric, fabric connectors, 
central management, edit, enable. Now, there's different way, there's different methods of 40 manager. Um, if I'm being honest with you, most of the time, my experience with 40 manager has been on an on-prem deployment or uh, a version of the on-prem software deployed in Azure, that kind of thing. But we're doing 40 manager cloud. Um, if you um, actually get to this point and the 40 manager cloud bit um, <clears throat> is grayed out, um, it means that the sync that we did in the initial steps hasn't taken place yet and you need to wait a little longer. So let's go there. We're going to put it in normal mode um, and we're going to OK that. It's going to then go off and waiting for the confirmation on the 40 manager side. If I go over there. Now on the 40 manager, we should have an unauthorized device. We do. Uh, UK South Hub FTT is the name. As you can see, that matches the name here. The serial number would, all, would, also, would also match. Um, yeah, so the serial number ends 822, 822, yeah. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to authorize that. We're not going to apply any fancy 40 manager stuff yet. That will definitely be covered um, in the upcoming videos. Um, as we're working with version 40 OS 7.2 on the gates, make sure that your operating version on the ADOM um, has been up updated to reflect that. We're not going to sign a policy package template or anything like that. We're just going to simply add it in. There we are. Is that it? Perfect. So we'll see now on the device manager device, you can see that it's got the UK South Hub FGT and then you'd manage the device from this window and nothing else moving forward. A little bit of a nosy round there. So um, go back to the manager devices and groups, go into the device itself. Um, policy and objects policy packages, you'll see that it's not got the special firewall policies that we created before. So the, the next stage would be to import the devices configuration. So back to devices and groups, uh, import configuration, import policy package, call it that, we'll stick it in root for now. We want to import everything. Um, Do we want to, um, we'll do per device mapping, support one, maps to port one, port two, maps to port two, uh, more, more, more detail on that on other video, future videos, import that in. Okay, so now if we go to policy and objects, policy uh, policy packages, UK South Hub FGT, that's the one that we've just imported. You will see that the special firewall policies that we created are now uh, inside 40 Manager. Uh, we'll discuss policy packages in more detail, but the just to be absolutely clear and set the expectation straight away, you definitely wouldn't really in a in a large deployment have a policy package per device. Um, you would have maybe a couple of policy packages that apply to different groups that you would like to conform to the same standards. The reason behind that is things um you, you would want 
if you want to change a firewall policy, then you might want to change it on multiple devices at the same time. So we'll cover that in more detail in, in future videos anyway. Okay, so just to wrap this one up, add to device, manage device groups, manage 40 gate, the appliance, the, the, all the appliances will be listed there, but there's only one in there now. We can see the device, we can see that it's synchronized. Um, that means that the, 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 the database that gets compared between the 40 gate itself and the 40 manager, that's really important, is in sync. Um, and you can see that the policy package that's applied to it was the one that we just imported. So UK South Hub FGT. That's it for this video. The next video, we will possibly add in some more devices, um, look at um, the best way of, of managing the appliances, and then we might get more towards automating, uh, adding devices with uh, specific templates, that kind of thing. So um, please tune in to those videos over the next few days.